as Shubhanshu Shukla soared into orbit, the second Indian ever to do so and the first on a mission to the International Space Station. So the year was 1984 inside a Soviet spacecraft on a frozen Kazakh morning. A young Indian Air Force officer braced himself, then squadron leader Rakesh Sharma felt the rumble beneath his seat, the roar of the Soyuz T-11 engines rising like a storm. In minutes he was hurling past Earth's fragile wheel, becoming the first Indian to pierce into the bound of space and now uh, Shubhanshu Shukla will be the second Indian to soar into space. So the question is that how important will it be to the world and especially for India in coming developments regarding the space? See, uh, as just as you have already uh, said the tone through your question, this is the second Indian to have done that. So it has been a very long wait of uh, over 41 years now. So good that it has happened and the baton has been transferred from Mr. Uh, you know, Dr. Rakesh Sharma to Mr. Shubhanshu Shukla. See, it has, uh, this particular mission has got many significances from the perspective of global science, if you talk about, because Mr. Shukla is going to be, uh, you know, uh, guiding the research on the diabetes in particular in the microgravity condition. Back home, the report of that research could help in better management practices for the diseases and maybe cure as well. But otherwise, from the perspective of Indian space program as such, it has got much more significance than this alone. You see, while Mr. Shubhanshu Shukla is going for International Space Station, we have been preparing for many other missions parallelly as well. You see, Gaganyan as a mission, the first human space mission is already in the pipeline. Just three or four days from now, we are also getting ready for another docking experiment, SpadeX 2. And with Mr. Shukla prepared for such human space missions, we would already have a trained personnel to guide the future space missions of India successfully. You see, this particular mission, if you talk about Axiom 4, should also be marked for one special reason. And that is, it is a partnership with a private entity. If you note, uh, our Science and Technology Minister, Mr. Jitendra Singh, also pointed out the day before, that we are in the evolving phase of the partnership between private sector and public sector to realize the fullest potential. That also is going to be a good guiding light towards that particular direction. I mean, private enterprises are coming up in India and with ISRO having already done a great work, good time that we evolve in a direction of, you know, uh, productive coexistence. So, yes, all in all, a great mission and the success of it would set the tone for many other successes to come in future.